what was the question of the client and what kind of boat is this? Well, the client um, asked us to build a fast fishing boat. Yeah, so um, <laughs> the, the place where, where my customer is, they have um, a lot of these boats that they take out fishing. And obviously, if you're going to go fishing, you want to go to the best spot. I think you want the fastest boat. So you have the, if you have the best spot, you got the best chance to win. Yeah. The boat is covered in new new things and latest releases of equipment and everything so it's a really special one and it's the one of one as well because it's the first one we we have actually built like that as well basically he wanted to have something that was a bit different than what than is already out there he's got the special suspension um, that we designed for the boat which is really cool not only that on that suspension we done um, like the forged carbon seats you know, the shelves, you know, obviously we got that from another project. But, yeah. So we, it's quite nice that we have uh, a lot of good and nice things that we developed during some of the processes that we joined this in this, in this one boat. So that makes it really unique. fast is it? We've been doing some tests and, and it was already fast enough for the customer. He gave us a number and we, we achieved that number from day one. So that was, that was, that, that was, was easy. Go, yeah. Boat felt good, obviously. It's based on the, on the race boat that I'm racing right now. So the stability and everything felt so good and everything felt so fine. And the, the, the eager to go faster was, was, was definitely there. So I think this, that was the time when he called me and says, Dad, we've got to take it out on flat water, put a helmet on and <laughs> let's go for Probably, it. Probably, yeah. yeah, that's it, that's it. You know, for, for most of the pleasure boats, 100 kilometers an hour, it's like a big benchmark, you know, a lot of boats, you know, just hit that 100 kilometers an hour mark. Um, 100 miles an hour. It's, it's a whole different story. It's a whole different story, yeah. It's multiplied by 1.6, so you do 160 kilometers an hour on the water, which feels like 300 kilometers per hour on the road. You can go much easier above 100 miles an hour, but then you need a bigger boat, you need, you need much more horsepower, you know. It's, uh, but for an eight and a half meter boat, just one single engine to do that performance, there's not many boats that can do that. Is coming down or is not happy with the speed or is coming down to say that we've reached 100 miles an hour? Let's see. 
after a couple of tests, we did like 97, 98 easy. Oh yeah. So if you if you do 98, 97, and you've done all that, and then you've, you've worked to before. it, and then you're thinking, oh, that's not far off a hundred. <laughs> that's the point. So that's point a, it was really it was really a trigger point. You know, if if you would have done maybe 95 would be still quick enough for the customer but 95 is still a long way away from 100 so i think it's because after a certain time we came so close to 100 that you get you get sucked into it and really want to do the 100 miles an hour and then we just got carried away you know? Not just a hundred, eh? Oh. It's good speed though for a bass boat. Not bad. That's a 100 mile an hour club, baby! Woo woo! <laughs> Owner of the club! How did you feel? Oh, it felt good. Yeah, the, to, to gain the first kilometers an hour, the first miles, it's always is an easy task. Yeah. That last bit is always the hardest point. It's so always a new challenge. It's always yeah. a new challenge. It never stops. Never That's what keeps story. you alive. But what's the big dream? Um, to make a better dream. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now it's Be your quiet, turn. Quiet. <laughs> Point two was not good enough, but. Yeah, I'm going to go to the house. 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 I'm going to